A switch connects devices within a local area network so they can communicate and share resources efficiently. Switches with power over ethernet POE ports provide both connectivity and power to devices like IP phones, security cameras, and wireless access points. This simplifies installation, offers centralized control, and enhances safety. All great benefits. The downside? Anytime the switch loses power, POE devices also lose power and connectivity. This disrupts POE operation until the device is fully restarted. If your business relies on an uninterrupted power supply to critical network devices, this downtime could cause huge problems. There is a feature available on some switches that can help with this problem called Persistent PoE. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain Persistent PoE on Cisco Catalyst 1300 series switches. Next. Persistent PoE, also known as Always On PoE, minimizes downtime to keep operations smooth. With Persistent PoE, a warm reboot of the switch will not interrupt the PoE operation for the connected devices. This includes using the reload command, the reboot feature in the web user interface, the reload with the device button, or via a tool like Cisco Business Dashboard. This means that when you perform an update or maintenance on your switch, business can still proceed as normal. With little to no downtime, security cameras can stream, employees have phone connections, and the Wi-Fi clients are connected. It's important to note that persistent PoE doesn't work in every situation. If the switch reboots due to a factory reset, or if the power cable is removed, all connected devices will lose connectivity and power. To learn more about this feature, navigate to the port management menu on your Cisco Catalyst 1300 series switch. There, you will find the PoE option. Under the PoE settings, you can see which ports are connected to PoE devices and how much power they are delivering. For further details, you can click on the Help button which will take you to a page with more information about persistent PoE. To provide a practical example, I have a CBW150AX access point connected to my switch. The MAC address of this access point ends with 1DEC. It is connected to port number three. The access point has been up for over four hours, while the switch has an uptime of 16 minutes. If I reboot the switch, the access point will not reboot. However, it may lose connectivity for a few seconds or minutes, depending on how quickly the switch comes back online. To verify this, I'll ping my switch and access point. Both respond, indicating they are reachable. Next, I'll reboot the switch. I will go to the command prompt, initiate the reboot, and confirm it. During the reboot process, the switch will lose connectivity and the access point will temporarily stop pinging. This happens because once a reboot is initiated through the web user interface, CLI tools, or Cisco Business Dashboard, the switch processor signals the power sourcing equipment controller that a reboot is about to start. This helps maintain current power during the reboot. During the warm reboot, data connections from attached devices are lost. Devices like IP phones may display a disconnected message. Once the reboot is complete, the switch restores the previous power state, ensuring PoE doesn't need to be renegotiated. Data connectivity is then restored, and the switch is fully online. After the switch reboots, it is up again, and the access point's reachability has also been restored. The switch uptime is now one minute and 30 seconds, while the access point uptime remains at four hours and 21 minutes, confirming it did not reboot during the switch reboot. If you see a blinking red icon to save the configuration, make sure to click it to save your switch settings. That's all there is to it. One feature providing peace of mind and enhancing productivity for your business. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.